Hey girls, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sabrina for those of you who are new. And today's video is going to be a sunglass unboxing video. If you know me in real life, I love me some sunglasses and I'm also going to share with you guys my small collection of sunglasses because I decided to start over. I wanted to do this unboxing on camera because it was just motivation for me to be consistent with my videos. I've been eyeing these sunglasses for a long time. They took me a while to get because they were sold out on the website and I had to get it from Europe. These are Bottega sunglasses. Oops, and out. If you aren't already, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on social media on Instagram at the Sabrina Effect. Be sure to like all of my videos and comment. We need to get the engagement up, girls. Please like the button, like the button, like the button, like the button. Like it, please. Thank you. I got a bag. Shit. I love this quote. It says, you can never be overdressed or overeducated. The girls in the back needed to hear that because some people be coming outside like they just rolled out of bed. That is unacceptable. On the Bottega site, they cost $5.50, but on my Teresa, they were $40 cheaper. They came in a big box for some sunglasses. I got these since last week, but I did not want to open it before. <laughs> and I love sunglasses, so this is a big deal for me. This is how it came, packaged. Okay. Okay, one thing that I don't like is that it does not come with the sunglass case. This is how it came. I need a case. There's no um back. Like, what is going on right now? They're gonna piss me off, bro. Like, what is five something for no case? This is not the, this can't be the case. I cannot be traveling with this kind of case. I'm gonna reach out to customer service because they gotta send me something. Because when I say case, I mean something like this. Something that I can, when I take my glasses off, I'm putting them inside of. That's crazy. So, these are the details of the sunglasses. But, girl, don't play with it. Okay. Don't play with it. Let's see what it's giving. Yes. Yes. I love these glasses. I love these glasses. I've been looking for the perfect aviator shades. I was originally looking at Tom Ford, but then I seen this and I was like, no, I gotta get these. Like, I had to get these. And when I tried to order it, they were sold out. I couldn't get them in store. So I just had to do a lot for these glasses. But when I see something I like, I want it. No questions asked. I already knew I was gonna love it when I first seen it. But what pissed me off was not having a traveling case. That's the only thing that really pissed me off about these glasses. <sighs> this cannot be the case. I need another case. Like, that's crazy to me. Like, I spent mad money. Like, I need a travel case. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys my favorite everyday go-to sunglasses. I love these glasses. Like, these glasses just do it for me every time. Like, I wear these glasses every day. And that's how I want to feel about all of my glasses. Like, I want to feel like every time I put them on, I feel like that girl. I don't want to have glasses that I'm very, like, mid about. These glasses give it girl. They give, yeah, like, don't play with it. In total, I spent 420 on these glasses and I ordered it off the site directly. And I love how it comes with a travel case and I can always hook it on to my bag if my bag is small so I'm not just walking around with the case. I really love that about the case. Like, they did what needed to be done. It's between this and the Bottega ones. Like, but I think these are my all-time favorites because they just go with everything. Like, they just do what needs to be done. Like, they just do what needs to be done every time I put these on. Even without makeup, like, it still gives. Like, all the girls are starting to get on these, and I don't like that. I don't like when everybody gets the same thing. Be different. 
be different. Next are these Gucci's. And I actually bought these Gucci's twice. So the first time I took them to Dubai and I truly don't know. I feel like it was stolen out of my hotel room because I went to dinner on the sky and I don't recall bringing them out of the hotel room. But I just knew that I did not leave Dubai with these glasses. And I was so heartbroken. I was so attached to these glasses because they were different. They were white and they were just, I just love these glasses so bad that instead of me buying a different style of glasses, I rebought these glasses. And one thing about me is that I don't like dark lens. I don't like like black, black sunglasses. I like sunglasses where the lens are still a little light. It's giving it girl like come on so far i showed y'all three hot sunglasses okay and i've had these shades for about since 2019 since 2019 so we're like about four years now the low way i got them last year in december and i just got the gold taken ones this is she's old but not too old but listen i love gold accessories so and i love white like this just eats love 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 her love her love her love her and i love how she not only comes with a dust bag but she comes with a case like they get it they get it my next favorite pair of sunglasses but i don't wear often are these celine glasses i really wear them because they are too dark i don't like black on black sunglasses but this still eats and it gives what it needs to give like if you see me with these on do not talk to me these are the don't talk to me i'm here to handle my business kind of shades and these are the first pair of designer sunglasses that I bought. I still think the price is the same. Like they don't go on sale. And I think they're like four sixty plus tax, almost five hundred dollars for these sunglasses. And it eats. Like if you see me with these glasses on, you wouldn't even want to talk to me. This is I'm here to handle business. Don't fuck with me because I'm not in the mood type of sunglasses. This is sunglasses and Advil kind of sunglasses. And these glasses eat. Like don't play with it don't play with it i'm gonna start wearing these glasses more often because they eat they really do eat so yes like i said i'm starting over and rebuilding my collection back up and they're all designer sunglasses i love designer shades sunglasses are something that i will spend a lot of money on and i will always buy the real thing like i would never buy like designer what they call it dupes or whatever they do off the H gate no shade with it no shade with it next are these dior sunglasses and i don't wear them as often because they just don't do it for me no more like i feel like these were a hype they're still cute they're still cute but i just don't wear it as often often and I can honestly do without these glasses and these glasses are the reason why I like to buy timeless pieces of shades like I will never buy a pair of sunglasses that I see a celebrity has on or something that is hyped up if I see sunglasses I need to it needs to be love at first sight kind of thing and it still gives it actually goes in my outfit but I don't know these were definitely a trend I really wanted the white ones, but I couldn't get the white ones, so I ended up getting the pink ones. I'll still wear it, but they're not my go-to sunglasses. So I hope you girls enjoyed my sunglass collection video. Hopefully I can show you some of my other collections that I take great pride in, because this is something that I take great pride in, and there will be more to come. Thank you girls for tuning in, and I will see you girls in my next video.